Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to a new vlog for today I just wanted to pick up the camera and spend the day with you guys But I'm about to head out right now because I have a couple errands to run So I'm just gonna run and grab an iced coffee go to the store pick up a few things Make sure you guys subscribe if you're not already follow me on Instagram and let's get into it I thought it would be fun to do a little spring favorites because I haven't done a favorites video in so long and I used to love making favorites videos. I used to make them literally once a month. I honestly have so many products that I've been loving right now and I used to love watching favorites videos because I used to find out so many good products through that. So let me know if you guys enjoy watching current obsessions videos and I will do more of these. So my first favorite is the Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay Smoothing Body Sand. Oh my god, I'm so obsessed with this and I just want to thank Sand and Sky for working with me on today's video. They have such amazing products. If you guys haven't heard of Sand and Sky, they are an Australian beauty company. They have so many amazing skincare and body care products on their website and the packaging is so cute. I'm so obsessed. Their products are all natural, cruelty free, vegan and let me just start off by saying this smells so good. And what I also love about their products is they don't have any weird fillers or weird like additives in their products. It's all natural, all amazing ingredients. So I love that so much. I love using more natural products. So what I got to try from them is the pink body sand. Also, it comes with this adorable little scoop. Like how cute is this? So you just take a little scoop of the sand and then you mix it with water and then you rub it on your body and you just use it to exfoliate your body and it leaves my skin feeling so soft also if you like to self tan a lot like i do this product is great for exfoliating your body before putting on self tanner which is what i did this morning it has virgin macadamia nut oil in it so it's really moisturizing and then it also is really finely milled so the sand really smooths and exfoliates your skin which helps with cellulite, it prevents ingrown hairs and just leaves your skin feeling so silky smooth. So it's safe to say I'm extremely obsessed with this product. So you guys should go check it out. I will leave all the information to Sand and Sky in my description. And then I also have this, it's a little microfiber like towel headband thing. This is amazing for washing your face or putting on a face mask or something. And it just keeps my hair safe from like any water or makeup or anything. And it just keeps my hair out of my face when I'm washing my face or putting on a face mask or something. Okay, let's talk about makeup. I have two makeup products to talk about. The first one is the Becca highlighter. Most people probably already know about this product, but if you don't, you need to you need to get this like this is literally the most stunning highlighter i have ever used i use it every single day i'm wearing it right now it is so pretty it makes my skin so glowy then my other makeup favorite is the glossier dusk cloud paint it's such a natural color and i'm wearing it right now on my face and it's just very subtle but it still adds color to your face so i'm really really into that okay now let's talk about fashion the next thing that i have been loving is funky patterns i don't know what it is maybe i've been cooped up for way too long and i just want to like actually go insane and just go crazy with fashion i've really been drawn towards like bright colors and crazy patterns i have this little cow print purse which i am obsessed with it's so fun so funky and then i just got this off of Amazon. I've been seeing a ton of people with this bag on Instagram and I think it is so cute and I can just see myself wearing this in the summer with like some denim shorts and a little top, maybe like a bucket hat or something to a farmer's market. I don't know if that's what I'm envisioning. Like how cute is this? It's just like a little fuzzy leopard bag. And then the last fashion thing is this jacket. I just got this from Urban Outfitters. It's so cute and it's this Sherpa material. It's so cozy and I probably got too warm of a jacket for the spring weather, but whatever, I don't care. I'm sure it'll be good on chillier summer nights sitting on the balcony or something. Home things that I've been loving. Well, I feel like the first home thing that I should say is my new apartment. If you guys haven't heard, I mean, I've talked about it like a million times already, so you probably already know. Oh my God, I'm so excited. We move in 
so soon. Okay, if you guys watch my videos, you know that I love incense sticks. I love burning incense in my apartment. I think they smell so good. And this is my favorite brand. If I can find this online, I will link it. But I get these at a little shop in Kensington Market called Little Green Planet. They have this brand. It's called Ascent. And I'm obsessed with these. They smell so good. And sometimes I find incense sticks to be too strong and overpowering, but this brand makes the best sense. So I got two new ones for it this spring. This one is patchouli rose and this one is mango. The last category is food and beverages. So I actually only have beverages to talk about. I have become so addicted to sparkling waters. I love them so much. These two have been my latest obsessions. So the first one is the apricot la croix. It's so delicious. I think this is my favorite flavor of la croix, la croix it is this is my favorite flavor from them it is so good i also really like the peach pear one and then this you guys is so good this is a zevia it's like a healthy soda this one the grape flavor this literally tastes like a grape freezy it's so crazy it's so good that is everything those are all my favorites i'm gonna clean all this stuff up now and get some work done because my Google Calendar is telling me that I have other things to do, so let's go. So this is our little lunch. We're just having sandwiches, and then baby carrots, cucumbers. This is Brayden's sandwich, and we're sharing a bowl of soup because there's only enough left for one bowl, so this is our little lunch. I feel like I've changed my outfit like 5,000 times today. Also, sorry about the lighting. The sun is just glaring in right now. But I'm so indecisive today. I don't know what I wanna wear. I don't know if I wanna wear a t-shirt or a tank top. Anyway. I made myself a huge glass jar of water because I have been forgetting to drink water recently and it's so bad. I've just been so bad at drinking water because I've been like busy doing things and also I've just been drinking like other beverages that are not water. So I'm trying to get back on drinking water and being better about drinking water. I need to get like a hydro flask or something so I remember to drink water. But anyway, I have so much computer work to do right now. I have like the biggest to-do list in my planner. So I need to start getting through this. And then once I have put a dent in my to-do list, we're gonna go for a little walk. So that's the plan. Hey Google, what's the temperature outside? The current temperature in Toronto is 13 degrees. <laughs> I honestly might be too hot in this jacket, but I don't really care because I love it. So, Also, this new moisturizer I've been using has been making my skin look a little bit oily. And I'm actually really into it. You can't really tell, but my skin's looking a little bit oily, a little dewy. I'm into it because my skin is normally extremely dry. So I'm so jealous of people who have oily skin because I think it looks so pretty and like dewy and just a lot better than dry skin. Fun fact, I actually have really bad eyesight and I feel like nobody actually knows that and I can't see anything ever because I don't ever wear my glasses. But when I go on walks and when I'm in places like grocery stores or just going on walks, I always wear my glasses so I can actually see what's going on. I wanna get contacts so bad, but I can't until these lockdowns are over. So hopefully by the summer I'll have contacts, but for now I have to rock these glasses, so. for the rest of the night. So 
I'm gonna end it off here. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, follow me on Instagram, and also check out Sand and Sky. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye, love you guys.